Notes Payable Basics Problem 1. Lime Company signed a three-year note payable for $45,000 at 8% annual interest. What is the interest expense for year one if the note was signed on August 1st, year one? We're asked to determine the interest expense for year one. Anytime you're asked for interest expense, there's different, different types of items out there in accounting that you could be determining interest on. So it's very important to read very carefully in the problem to see what, what's involved and what's going on. You could have bonds, notes, um, other things that create interest. You could have um, interest on an asset, a notes receivable. So this is interest expense, so you're paying interest, but just keep in mind, whenever you see interest, be careful and focus on what the item in the problem is dealing with. Now we're told in, in this specific question, that Lime Company signed a three-year note payable. So we have a note. Now, calculating interest is pretty simple, pretty straightforward in accounting. There's obviously some, some tricks and some special rules you have to do, like amortization of, of discounts and premiums for bonds and things like that that can make it more challenging. But really, it's just a straightforward formula that is just in basic mathematics. You're going to take the principal times the interest rate And then you need to understand that in the question, if you're told an annual interest rate, for example, here we have 8% annual interest, you also need to focus on adjusting for the time. So adjustment for time. So if you're given an annual interest rate and the notes were not held for, more, for, for at least one year, you have to adjust that. Let's find the principal here. The principal here, Lime Company, signed a three-year note payable for $45,000. So the principal amount is $45,000. Now, in nowhere are we told that the principal is paid down. Of course, if you're, you know, we, we're told that start off at $45,000 and it's paid off in installments each year of $15,000 over three years, then, and you were asked in year two, this is year one, right? We're looking at year one, August 1st, year one. So August 1st is when this note was actually uh, taken on by Lime Company. So they owe money. Remember, payables are always liabilities. Receivables, assets. Nothing in the problem says that they've paid off any of the principal. And the question is asking for the interest expense for year one. We assume a calendar year business unless we're told otherwise. So what we're looking at is the note was issued by Lime Company saying we're going to pay money to this lender in the future. This $45,000 and we're going to pay 8% annual interest. So on 8 one, which is August 1st, through December 31, 1231, again, assume calendar year, thinking about in our timeline, August, September 1st, October 1st, November 1st, December 1st, so think about that, that's one, two, three, four, five, I know the, the little brackets aren't exactly equidistant from one another in terms of the five, but you get it. there's five months, and again, this interest rate, which is 8%, is an annual interest rate, that's for 12 months. So we need to adjust that for time. So what I'm saying is you take the number of months when you're looking at the question, right? August 1st through December 31st is five months over one year or 12 months. And that is adjusting for the time. Now, of course, if this was on January 1st and we're looking for December 31st, you know it's 12 months over 12 months, right? January 1st to December 31st is 12 months. So 45,000 times 8% times five over 12 equals $1,500. So not too bad. It's just remembering the basic formula and understanding how to adjust for the time like we have here, August through December, and also paying attention what kind of respective item it is. Note payable, bond payable, because if it's a bond, you might have to amortize discount premium. These kinds of things, they have little tricks involved. So just keep that in mind when you're going through, this is notes payable.